These threats can generally result in damage to the reputation of an organization, stifled productivity, as well as financial damages to both businesses and individuals. The first step in a ransomware attack usually begins with a hacker penetrating a network and infecting it with a threat like Emotet. Then the hacker waits patiently for that threat to spread to terminals connected to the network. Emotet was primarily created as a banking trojan that is useful on the so-called dark web as a means to steal credit card details. But lately, Emotet has gone through several alterations and can now be deployed as a means to spread other strains of malware, particularly ransomware. Due to its stealthy and flexible capabilities, Emotet has become amongst the most prolific forms of malware delivered by a spam email using a technique called phishing. The hacker group behind Emotet is adept at localization or geographically specific attacks and frequently distribute large-scale campaigns in a range of geographies and languages, increasing their global footprint. According to Proofpoint researchers, between January and March 2019, Emotet accounted for almost two-thirds of all malware payloads delivered through phishing emails. Emotet injects TrickBot into networks as part of its secondary infection. TrickBot is another banking trojan that not only steals data, but also downloads a third infection, the Ryuk ransomware. The Emotet TrickBot Ryuk attack trifecta steals scores of data, including passwords, browser history, personal data, registry info, and other sensitive information before encrypting the victim's computer and ransoming their data. Because the potential profit grows with the range of the infection, Hackers can wait weeks, months, or possibly even years for the threat to spread itself. The farther reaching it goes, the more difficult it is to trace the origination point for the infection, and the harder it will be to defend against the coming ransomware attack. When the hacker is satisfied that the infection has a stronghold on the victim's network, the hacker may lay low and wait for a time when the victim's defenses are truly let down, perhaps a weekend during the holiday season, for example. And that's the moment they will start to inject a ransomware strain. Before the victim even realizes what has just occurred, their entire system is locked, and the only way to regain access to their files is to pay the ransom. Well, we hope you enjoyed this episode. And to stay on top of all news related to malware and your personal security online, make sure to catch This Week in Malware every week. My name is Julio Rivera, and that's This Week in Malware. You know, as I think about the dangers that exist online, not unlike the subjects we learned about in this week's show, I know I feel a lot better having an anti-malware program like Spy Hunter installed in my PC, providing me the protection I need against malware. And I think you should too. Spy Hunter 5's strongest features are found in its malware repair capabilities. Spy Hunter 5's remediation algorithms dive deep into your system to remove and address complex malware issues affecting PCs today. While many anti-malware products only flag and quarantine malware and ultimately fail to fully remediate the root problem, the Spy Hunter 5 remediation algorithm detects, quarantines, and programmatically repairs malware problems on your PC. Spy Hunter 5 is a powerful PC utility that repairs malware threats in many cases where other competing anti-malware and antivirus programs may fail. To detect and remove malware for free, Go to enigmasoftware.com and download Spy Hunter today. Thanks for watching.